Hello everyone, this is Joe Hindi from AndroidAuthority.com and today we'll be taking a look at the new Swift Key. It's gotten some major updates with some new features and the price has dropped from $3.99 to $1.99. If you haven't used Swift Key before, its claim to fame is its great text prediction and autocorrection. The goal of the keyboard is to let you type whole sentences without actually typing anything, which is actually very possible. Late last year, SwiftKey announced that they were going to add a swipe mechanism to SwiftKey and would eventually release a beta of that called SwiftKey Flow Beta. A lot of people enjoyed it and it seemed to work pretty well. It was integrated directly into SwiftKey 3, giving it the fun of swiping with the text prediction that SwiftKey 3 was already known for. Thus, the new SwiftKey was born. Known as SwiftKey 4, it's the first official release with SwiftKey Flow swiping built in. It also boasts better text prediction and autocorrection than ever. Lastly, and perhaps its most daring feature, the ability to use Flow to swipe whole sentences. We'll show you how that works in this video. While text prediction has been revamped, using it is still about the same as it ever was. After you type or swipe a word, some choices will appear above the keyboard to try to guess the next word in the sentence. If it happens to be there, just hit it instead of having to type it. SwiftKey still checks your Twitter, Facebook, text messages, RSS feeds, if you happen to be a writer or have an RSS feed for yourself, and Gmail to learn your style of typing. SwiftKey Flow is the hallmark new feature. To use it, simply spell out the word you want by swiping your finger over the letters. It's important to note that unlike swipe keyboard, you just spell out the word. So for the word let's, L-E-T apostrophe S, with swipe, you would spell L-E-T, swipe down to the apostrophe, then back to the S. In Swift key, you just swipe L-E-T-S, and the keyboard knows where to put the punctuation, most of the time. The funnest new feature is the ability to use Swift key flow to swipe full sentences in one go. How this works is you swipe the first word, swipe down to the spacebar, swipe the second word, then back down to the spacebar, wash, rinse, and repeat until you have a full sentence. However, of all the new features, this one is by far the most buggy. Sometimes words are spelled in such a way that the last letter is on its way down to the spacebar and may be ignored. For instance, swiping the word sentences puts the S below the E and can cause Swift key to ignore it, thinking that you just slid past the S to get to the spacebar. Also, words that aren't swiped perfectly will end up something completely different, and you can't fix it until you complete the swiping motion. It's definitely a feature that needs work, but it's still fun to use when you're goofing around. Overall, the new update should make SwiftKey fans a lot happier. Even if they don't use Flow, the improved text prediction is still mostly better than SwiftKey 3. But for people looking for keyboards with the full range of features, SwiftKey now has pretty much all of them. That said, there is always room for improvement, so expect the swiping functionality to get more stable as the app gets updated. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy from AndroidAuthority.com. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out our social media links in the video description.